everyone, it's Budget Bunny here, and Merry Christmas from me and the furries. Uh, today I thought I would do our guinea pig Christmas themed cage tour. So our two guinea pigs, Sir Finney's Fluffy Talks and Sir Samson McSqueaker Box, both live in this custom built DIY cage that my husband and I constructed. And it's just built out of melamine and plexiglass. And it is the equivalent of a two x five CNC cage for the base. And then the second level where the piggies are right now, is equivalent to about one and a half grids wide by three grids long. So just running along the outside of the cage, I have some green and silver garland and I've also mixed in some colorful twinkle lights with it. So I thought I'd start on the far left side of the cage and this side of the cage is where their second level actually hangs over. So this kind of creates like a little darker area of the cage, which makes it kind of their cozy area. The boys love to snuggle up back here. So as you can see, I just have some red and green festive cage liners. And this red pad is actually a black and white polka dot fleece on the other side. This was a gift from the lovely Animal Mag Kate. Um, usually I use the black and white side, but I thought the red was just perfect for this time of year as well. So thank you, Kate. Then the boys have one of these Woody's Danglers, and this one's a little reindeer, and he's just hanging from the second level. The boys also have a veggie ball and a suet holder. Um, these can be bought at any pet supply store or kind of in a bird section, but they also make a great holder for veggies as well. And then they have this hanging willow star. And as you can see, this has already been a hit because one of the little points off the star has already been chewed off. The boys have a cozy bed in the very back corner of their cage. And this one's Christmas themed green with red, pink, and white polka dots. And also under their kitchen area, they have this green living world dome. And if we continue to the right hand side of the cage. Hello boys. <laughs> the boys have this beautiful candy cane fleece themed tunnel. I believe this is a Pee Wee's Piggy Palace tunnel and this was sent as a surprise gift as well as a few other things from Skinny Pigs One. So thank you so very much Skinny Pigs One. Um, it also comes with this beautiful really nice removable pad in there too but it is so nice and cozy feeling. I know that the boys are just going to love it. And on this side of the cage, I have this ho 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 red and white fleece blanket. Um, this was actually a blanket that I purchased at Walmart and then I cut it up and sewed it together with some towel and some red fleece on the back to kind of make a liner. And I just love how festive and colorful and fun this liner turned out. And it, and it goes so well with the red and green liners that I already had in the cage, as well as the fun goodies that Skinny Pigs One sent us. Now my boys love to chew, so in their cage I've put some apple sticks. They also have some all natural pine cones. As you can see, the one's gotten pretty worn down. They have one of these little snowman wood chews. I believe this was a Woody's product um, left over from Christmas last year. And then they also have some fruit wood shaped chews. 
Some of these also have holes drilled through them so you could use them on a kebab if you wanted, but I just throw them in the cage because the boys really like to nibble on them. So to continue on to the kitchen area, I actually have this ramp that goes up there. It's just made out of wood, but I've covered it in some green and white fuzzy leg warmers that I got at the dollar store and I have them in all different colors, but I thought the green and white went well with the Christmas theme. So just running along the outside of the second level, we have one of the boys Christmas stockings and we also have some more red and silver garland. And just at the other end of the second level, they have their second stocking. So on the left side of the kitchen area, they have one of three water bottles, as well as this candy cane themed hay sack. This was also another amazing gift from Skinny Pigs One. And just underneath those, I have a bottle pad, out of the Ho 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 fleece print, as well as a candy cane pad. I believe that one has the layers of U-Haul padding inside it. And again, that was also from Skinny Pigs one. And I just have a solid green fleece liner up on this level, as well as their pellet dish. Uh, this is one I believe I got at Target last year in the dollar section, but it's just a little star-shaped dish and it holds a quarter cup of pellets in it perfectly. So the boys each get an eighth of a cup and I just put it into this little dish here. And then just on the other side of the kitchen area, I have two more water bottles for the boys as well as another water bottle pad, um, just because I find that the bottles do tend to drip a little bit. And that one is also in the Ho 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 fleece and then you can just see the entrance there. That's where the ramp is so that the boys can get up to the second level. So I'll just give you one more overview of the boys Christmas themed cage. I hope that you enjoyed seeing Sir Phineas Fluffy Talks and Sir Samson McSqueaker Box Christmas themed cage tour. Stay tuned for more holiday themed cage tours, which will be coming up soon. And I'm wishing you all a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. Bye.